Hello everyone, it's a new week and it's time for a new video. So this week we will turn over together this beautiful Chippendale style buffet slash sideboard. As usually I started by giving my piece a very good cleaning. So guys, if I'm not showing this on camera, it doesn't mean that I am not doing this. So remember, you are not allowed to skip this step. Since I'm going to paint my piece in a very light color, I started by applying the white primer. I discovered recently that it's so much easier and faster to apply your primer with a roller. I'm just using the brush where uh, I cannot get with my I choose to paint this piece in the color Kashmir, one of the uh, limited edition color by Dixie Belle. Guys, I really like this is such a nice soft and warm of creamy white, uh, something like this. I'm just in love. It is hard to see on camera, but I misted my surface before I started to paint because as I told you before, this allows your paint to slide so much easier and faster on the surface. I'm using long strokes mainly, but uh, you will see me doing some stippling motions uh, around the molds because I want to get the paint everywhere. I also opened each drawer and I painted uh, the frame around. For the inside of the dresser, I used some painter's tape just to get some straight crisp lines. I applied a total of about 4 coats and I lightly sanded between each coat with some 240 grit sandpaper. You know, uh, I told you before, this just allowed your uh, wax to slide better and just reduce any brush strokes. And now it's time to apply the wax. As usually I'm applying it in any each direction, don't worry about this. Uh, the most important thing is just to get your wax in every each corner of your furniture. Uh, please follow the instructions on the cane of the product you are using. Uh, my product says that you have to let your wax to sit for about 10 minutes before you uh, remove the excess. But I never let it for 10 minutes. Uh, it's usually about 5, 6, something like this. And remember to be gentle with the molds and any sharp edges. As I told you before, the wax is moisturing your paint and if you put too much pressure, you have the chance to remove uh, some of the, your paint and you don't want this, just believe me. I know you see me usually using some black wax, but since I'm using this creamy, nice, warm color, I decided that a dark brown wax will be more appropriate. I'm using the brown wax by Rustoleum, and this uh, wax is pretty creamy. I would say it's runny uh, for a wax. Uh, that's why I'm applying a bigger amount on the molds, and I let this wax sit for a little bit before I wipe the excess away. I want this wax on all my low points of the mold and I am wiping away um, the excess only from the high points and I hope this makes sense for you. Um, I'm practically using this uh, wax as a glaze.
What I really like about uh, the brown wax is that it gives you that authentic uh, world look, world, uh, old world look, uh, aging look. Uh, so if you compare it with the black wax, um, the black one is giving like uh, more dimension and depth. I wanted to restain my top and just uh, to make it easier for me, I took it apart. I really like this kind of furniture because they are very easy to take apart. I know that this type of finish is very hard to take off only with the, with the sander. That's why I decided to first strip uh, the existing finish. I like to use a gel formula a stripper because it's not so runny, it's somehow less um, messy. But I have a video, um, more detailed video about stripping the existing finish and I will put the link above. After I was done with my stripping, I poured some denaturated alcohol on top just to stop uh, the action of the stripper. And I'm also using some steel wool uh, just to remove any leftovers. This also um, helped me to remove a little bit more of that uh, finish. This top is not real wood, it is veneer, that's why I started uh, by sanding it with 120 grit sandpaper and once I was done with it, I um, switched to 240. Always remember to be very careful when you are dealing with veneer because it is very easy to sand through. I really like this natural color of the wood, but since I'm uh, painting my piece in a very warm color, I decided to stain the top in the color Walnut by Bondex. Uh, this is an oil-based stain, I really like it, it's very easy to apply and I really like to apply it with a rag because um, I feel like it, it gives me more control of the amount uh, of the stain I'm putting on. This stain is also drying very fast and I was able to apply the second coat after about 2-3 hours.
my stain dried to a flat finish and I wanted uh, to give it a little bit of shine so uh, I'm using this top coat which is um, on the cane says that this is for flooring but you can also use it on furniture it is water based and has this um, milky consistency but it, it dries clear I would like to mention that since my stain was oil-based and the top coat I'm using is water-based, I let my stain to dry for about uh, three or four days. Uh, so usually you have to let your um, oil-based stain to dry for at least 72 hours before applying a water-based uh, top coat. As you can see, I'm applying it in long strokes. Don't worry if you missed a, a spot because you uh, will cover this with your second coat. One more tip, you can use some brown back pepper just to lightly sand between the coats of your top coat. And voila, it's done. It's so elegant, so warm and cozy. I really like this color and I really like how this piece is looking now. So if you guys also like it, please um, give me some thumbs up, leave me a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.